Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. The Ba'anos, the Apostles, and those who will well. Peace and salutations to all the Sisiakian, enduring afflictions, making their calling and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. It's your brother Kabar. It's your brother Yitazaka. And uh, be back with another one. Low willing is edifying to the elect. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash, Barakadam. To all the sincere listeners who may hear this, we're going to go to a lesson on reason. So what I have here pulled up is the word reason, reason on Google. Reason. It says a cause, explanation, or justification for an action or event. Second definition, which this is really what we're going to go into, this is the power of the mind to think, understand, and form judgments by a process of logic. Mm. Okay. You know, and I got it in etymology just to go and get that from the early 1400s. All right. It says to question someone. Also to challenge. It says from old French, speak, discuss, argue, address, speak to, to discourse. All right. To reason. All right. It says to think in a logical manner. Employ reasoning with someone. I think that about covers it. So, you know, we got some pre's. Um, yeah, think logically. Yep. So, um, you have some? Uh, nah, you got it uh, as of now. Uh, get that in Joe 15. I don't know if it has an order, but you know. Uh, it's another one too, Salakia. Um, on, oh, you see, okay. Uh, another definition. It's a find an answer to a problem by considering various possible solutions. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, like trying to find, you know, exhausting all resources before you just jump to a conclusion. You know what I'm saying? Or like really taking your time to like try to figure something out. You know what I'm saying? Or, so, or solve a problem. Like, re mm. you know, that's reasoning. You mm. know? Yep. Come. On. Yep. Come, on, bro. Guess. Guess we're gonna order on here. Not too much. Get that in Joe fifteen and yeah, three. Yep. It's uh. It's lucky. It's Joe. Chapter fifteen, verse three. It says, should he reason with unprofitable talk or with speeches wherewith he can do no good? Ah, you know, this is a question, you know, and Job, you know, understands, all right, the, the logic of particular things, man, you know, as the definition was, you know, just to think with logic, to understand, you know, a matter completely, right? What was the, the other one? It says, uh, uh, uh find, with speeches. find an Oh, so like you want definition? Yeah. Find an answer to a problem by considering various possible solutions. Okay. And know? I think that was uh, so like one of Joe's friends, uh, Aliphaz. I was thinking that. Yeah. Uh, Khan. The team at night, yeah. Yeah, it does say that in verse one, yeah, Khan. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. So like Khan. But yeah, Dwight, yeah, one of Joe's friends, you know what I'm saying? You know, one of his brothers, mm -hmm. you know, asked this question. You know, I guess we could, uh, yeah, just to, yeah, read that again. This is. Khan. Yep. Uh, just read three. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Job 15 and 3 says, Should he reason with unprofitable talk or with speeches wherewith he can do no good? Right. So that's something that, you know, you want to consider before you're out here, um, you know, speaking or talking, you know, you want to you reason a certain way, man. You know, like we're, uh, scriptures talk about, uh, you know, uh, babbling, man. You know, how mm -hmm. babbling, you know, uh, become hateful, become hateful, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know if you... you yeah, I get, I get that for you. Kind of. Yeah. I'll put it up on here. It's like, is it like Surat 20? I think so. Yep. Oh, well. Come with hate for Nah, hold on. That might need to be one. Let me see. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, what's up? It's not. It's uh, Surat chapter 20. In verse five, it says, "There is one that keep of silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling become of hateful." Mm-hmm. 
That's right. You know, so ultimately, you know, you, you found wise if you're just holding your peace in certain cases, you know, when you're speaking, you, you want to speak, I mean, ultimately through the oracles you have Hashim Shai, mm -hmm. you know, that's the ultimate reason. That's the ultimate logic, mm -hmm. you know, if we were just out here speaking and, and babbling particular things, you know what I'm saying? Or just not even, not even thinking, all right, how is it profitable? Like we uh, brought out in the first precept in Job 15, you know, reasoning with unprofitable talk, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, it, ultimately, all things should be done for what? For, for edifying, for edification, for building up, you know? If you're out here just doing things, all right, for vainglory, or if it's something that's like, you know, out of strife, you know, you want to be making yourself look better, you want to exalt yourself, ultimately, how is that profitable, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know? Mm -hmm. um, can, can you do me a favor? Uh, you mm -hmm. look up that word, uh, Babel, in the etymology, and just see what we get to there, Babel Kasha. Kind of. I got a quick precept, too. Babel. It says to prattle, utter words indistinctly, mm. talk like a baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well. Babbling, let's see. It also says to talk excessively. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. Let's see, babbling. Let's see if this, I mean, it should be the same thing. It says babbling, muttering. It says foolish talk. Mm. Mm hmm. Given to idle talk. Mm. You know? Vain jangling. Vain jangling, that's right, yep. You had something you said? Uh huh, yep. Uh, it's a rock 32 and 7. And, uh, I guess I read through 9, might as well. Point and 8. Yeah. It's uh, Sirach chapter 32, verse 7. It says, Speak, young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. Let thy speech be short, comprehending much and few words. Be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. Mm. See? No, that's, that's, that's definitely a, a wise thing to do. You know? If you if you have a particular reason, if you're reasoning, all right? If you have that, that logic, all right, to mm. understand, all right, if this thing is profitable to say this, you know? You, you don't want to be uh, just babbling. You know, it says, let thy speech be short comprehending much in few words you know be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue all right so just because you know something all right you could look at somebody and maybe you uh could be uh you know an opportunity to to correct somebody you know but ultimately you know if you're truly doing it in a particular spirit if you want to uh, really correct somebody truly all right and edify that person if you do it with the uh, with the hope you know because charity edifies you know, Cherry also, all right, hopeth all things, you know. Brothers, um, you know, like to do expose videos on other camps and other brothers with no type of hope, you know, and true edification, <coughs> you know. Like, what, what's the what's the real purpose of you doing particular things, you know? Mm-hmm. got one more. Right, three, nine. First, uh, nine, it says, if thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, Use not many words. Con. Yep. You got it. Con, I guess. Yeah, so, um, it says, so like, I'm go back. It said, um, if thou be among great men, make thyself equal with them, which, you know, uh, make not thyself equal with them. You know what I'm saying? Which, uh, you know, in this thing of ours, you know, uh, this faith, you know, um, this this has some of the worst spirits on the planet and some of the most high 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 level top spirits on the planet, man. There's great men in um uh, as servants of Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah in place, man. You know, so we gotta keep that in mind uh in mind. If you be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. You know what I'm saying? Scripture say you're supposed to esteem another higher than yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So be like, hey man, this 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 is a great man. You know what I'm saying? Let me watch how I speak. Let me make sure I'm saying the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Let me make sure I'm not being offensive. Let me make sure I'm not being disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me make sure I'm displaying my message, how it needs to be taken in. Let me uh, understand their perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to, you know, think, think about all angles. You know what I'm saying? You don't just be quick to make yourself equal with great men. It says, and when ancient men are in place, use not many words. Which uh, that word ancient is uh, synony uh, the word elder synonymous with ancient, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got elder brothers who've been doing this thing for uh, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, you know what I'm saying? Don't, 
hey, watch how you talk to them brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, we're all men. You know what I'm saying? We're all servants of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, my shot. That's our master. You know what I'm saying? That's our that's our Lord. But at the same time, it's still it's still a, a common courtesy type of thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, mm -hmm. been this thing laboring for years, man. Scripture tell you, esteem them very highly for the work's sake. You know what I'm saying? So you got to always keep that in mind, too. Like, bro, just don't be talking to no elders or no you know, no older brothers any type of way, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. That, that's how you how you become hateful, man. God, bro. You know? If your speech isn't short, if you're not, if you're not uh, doing it uh, in the right spirit, you know? If it's in a sense where it's unprofitable, you know? <laughs> you know? Like people just doing something just for no reason. You know, just to be doing it, mm -hmm. you know, like what's the real purpose here? You know, that's something that we should be uh, you know, considering, man, or reasoning. God, bro. Yeah. It was a little bit more in that Surat 20 out. It was like two more on there. Okay. If we could just read. Uh, um, do nine. I think we read, we read five, right? Um, I think we read six as well. Okay, kind of. Let me keep reading. This rock 25, it says, There is one that keep of silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling become of hateful. Some man holdeth his tongue because he have not to answer, and some keep of silence knowing his time. Mm -hmm. Knowing his time, man. You know, Ecclesiastes 3 tells you it's a time and purpose mm. for everything under the heaven, man. God. <laughs> you can get that. God. I know he's going to read more. God, yep. You gotta but just to get it in uh, Ecclesiastes 3. Sorry, I'm going to Sirach. Um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh, jump down to verse 7. It says, A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a mm -hmm. time to speak. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's one thing we need to know, consider, reason. All right, is this the time? You know, or is it a time I could hold my peace and wait until that time? You know, that's something that we should have that that reason or consideration to understand, you know, because mm. we don't do something out of season, mm -hmm. which scripture says be instant and season out of mm -hmm. season. But, you know, that's within the context of doing things decently and in order as right. well. Man. Yep. <laughs> that don't mean just be instant. All right. Out of order. Right. <laughs> you know, that's not the breakdown. <laughs> Instantly out of order. <laughs> it is well. Um. Yeah, I, I think I, I got one quick huh. one too. It's a lot. I know we had, I said I wanted to read a little bit more. Um, make sure I know where I'm at. Uh, she, she. Okay, yeah, here we go. Right here, call my name. This, uh, it's a Ciroc. Hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm, 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 I'm going to read 25, but I'm going to just jump up because I'm at 26. Just the point. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm going to just. Uh, Ciroc 4. Mm hmm. 26 this is uh sirach chapter 4 verse 26 it says be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river you know so you're not supposed to force the course of the river just because you feel like you know you got something wise to say hey man it might not be the time to say it you know what i'm saying scriptures tell you about how a wise word will be rejected mm. if it's not in season mm. or just roughly paraphrasing mm. it might be mixing too nah uh, yep. <laughs> you know what i'm saying but if you if you don't say a wise word in, in, in its proper timing or if you don't say it in the proper way then it's not going to be taken like how you you want it to be taken you know what i'm saying so you got to consider that that's that reason you know being considering being considering you know what i'm saying so you can't force the course of the river you can't just like just uh force the issue man you know what i'm saying if it's if it's meant to be said it's going to be said if it's meant to come out it's going to come out you know mm -hmm. just let yeah how about your shut deal with that man you know of course but you know let me jump up to 23 because it tell you right here. Um, so, uh, so right 4 and 23, it says, And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. So it is a time where you like you, you don't supposed to refrain from speaking. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand when it you got to you got to uh, you got to you, you got to understand. You got to have discretion. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand when you should say something, how you should say something and, you know what you should say. You know what I'm saying? It says, and hide not wisdom in her beauty. You know what I'm saying? It says, for by speech, wisdom shall be known and learning by the word of the tongue. So wisdom is going to be, uh, speech is going to be 
uh, speech defines wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So you got to like, that's why your speech has to be seasoned. Your speech has to be uh, perfected. You know, it has to be it's exquisite, you know, because that's how your wisdom is going to be known and learning by the word of, a tongue, of the tongue, you know, of thy tongue, of the tongue. You know what I'm saying? So learn is it, it, it comes from how the word is uh, pushed forth from your tongue. You know what I'm saying? So if you want somebody to learn something, you got to come out of your tongue right. You know what I'm saying? That's And that's wisdom, man. You know what I'm saying? That's using, re and, and that's being reasonable. Understanding like, look, if I if I say something and I want it to be, in, I want to be uh, someone to understand this wisdom, I have to uh, ha have it with proper speech. You know, if I want it to come out right, I have to come off my tongue right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand that or that it's not going to be accepted, you know? That's right. Um, and that's a lot, brother. Um, we got that 20. Uh, that was a little bit more than 20. Yeah, actually, uh, you quoted that one if you go to verse 20. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Where, which, where, 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 where is that at, man? That's right, 20 and 20. Oh, okay, kind. Yep. This, uh, ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let me start at 19. Mm-hmm. It's rock 20 and 19. An unseasonable tale will always be in the mouth of the unwise. <laughs> mm, mm. Come on, man. <laughs> An unseasonable tale. God, you know? Man. I got a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? God, like, God. hey, man. You know, if, it, if it's unseasonable, hey, man, just hold, hold your peace, man. Mm. You know, it could be something that could be truly edifying, but if it's given at the wrong time, you know, it goes into it. Mm -hmm. A wise sentence shall be rejected when it cometh out of a fool's mouth. For he will not speak it in due season. Mm. So if you're not speaking something in due season, even if it's a wise sentence, it's rejected, you know? And you're deemed as a fool, man. You know, because why? Because you're not giving reason, all right, to the season. <laughs> mm. You know? You got mm -hmm. it. God, bro. You're jumping up in this chapter. This chapter, fire. Mm -hmm. um, verse 7, back in, uh, in this chapter, we read 5 and 6. It says, a wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. He that use of many words shall be abhorred, and he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. There is mm. a sinner that have good... Oh, so like, yeah, that was the point. Yeah, so like... Kind of not. Basically, yeah. You know, same particular things. All right, just, just the same. Just to exalt yourself because you want to make known that you know something. I'm right and you're wrong, you know. People see that, you know what I'm saying. If it's out of out of season, people see, you know what I'm saying. If someone's someone's wise to discern it, another person who's wise, they're gonna see like, all right, yeah, you're right, but you ain't have to do it like that, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, scriptures talk about you, you're gonna be hated because of that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not gonna be received, man, because it was out of season, you know. Mm. You, it was really unprofitable, kind, bro. You know. Yep. Yep. Beautiful, brother. Um, what else we got? Oh, so lucky I got them. Um, you got them? I got them. Uh, so, uh, Ecclesiastes. Uh huh. Yep. It's uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 25. It says, I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things. And to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, this is wisdom of Solomon, man. This is, well, this is Ecclesiastes, but this is, you know, Solomon speaking, man. You know, and he he's a person who understood, you know, he experienced a lot. He did a lot, you know, and he he applied, you know, particular particular uh, wisdom to know like, OK, you know. You agree that one more time? Kind of, yep. Let me go ahead. That made me think of that. Uh, no, you good. That made me think of that precept that the brother quoted yesterday. Brother Iwana. He, he quoted that precept about seeking out a matter. Proverbs, so, yeah. yeah. Kind of, Lord willing, I can pull that too. Back it up. This uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 25. I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. Mm -hmm. You in the blue letter? Oh, uh, yep. You get that word reason on this one? Kind. Yep. Reason. Um, let's see if they can hear it. Before you can trip. Oh, because it's popped out. I don't know. 
right here. Um, it's a eight twenty eight oh eight, which is a Kashban, a Kashban. Lord willing, I'm saying that right. And it's a account reasoning reckoning. In the Strong's definition, it says, um, properly contravance by implication, intelligence, account, device. That was up. Yeah, I was trying to see what it's saying. Let's go. Yeah, that was good. Mm hmm. Yeah. The device, man. You no. Know? Because it says, I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things. You know, the device, ultimately the, the use, mm. you know, for particular things, man. Mm -hmm. It says, and to know the wickedness of folly, even the foolishness and madness, mm -hmm. you know, because a fool, someone who, who, who's, uh, you know, smited with madness, they're just doing things just, you know what I'm saying? Well, just just because, man, just just doing things just almost unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Just like, man, who, who is this guy, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's mad, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, just a just a fool, man. Yeah. You know? Like a, a true righteous judge is going to really, uh, you know, reason with himself and understand reason mm -hmm. of things. Yeah. It's that Proverbs 2 and 11, not uh, uh, discretion shall preserve thee. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get this one, too. It's the spirit of Brother quoted this because this is the perfect precept for that. Um, this um, Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 2. It is the glory of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, to conceal a thing. But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Mm, you got it. Kind, so, yes, the honor of kings to search out matters. You know what I'm saying? Try to find solutions. You know, find fi try to find out reasons. You know, try to uh, put things together. You know, try to come to a, 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 a conclusion. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know, uh, you know, set set out reason and logic. Be logical. You know what I'm saying. Be thoughtful. This this is the honor of kings, man. And it's the glory of Yahabashim Asha to conceal a certain thing. So Yahabashim Asha has certain things to conceal because he wants you to seek it out. You'd be like, why why is somebody acting this certain type of way, or why is they saying this certain type of thing, or why are they doing this certain type of thing? Yahabashim Asha has concealed it. You're supposed to search it out and figure out why. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's guidelines and how you do it. You know what I'm saying? It's guidelines and how you do it is and, and that's your honor, you know, by by searching it out, you know, uh fi finding the proper reasons, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's that scripture that goes into the touch of Berea? Oh yeah, Acts. uh that's X seventeen, I believe. It should be like X seventeen and eleven, but let me just make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I'm starting. Okay. This is Acts 17 and verse 10. It says, And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night to Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. Mm -hmm. These were noble, Tlaki, these were more noble than those of Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So that's what gives you nobility. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, no, nobility is linked up with uh, honor. You know what I'm saying? So that's your honor is like by uh, uh, receiving the word, uh, uh, um, hearing, having readiness of mind. You know what I'm saying? That reasoning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, ser searching out things. You know what I'm saying? This what this what gives you that nobility. That's what gives you that honor. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be like the men in the church of Berea. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. Ah, you know, it goes both ways, you know, with, with a giving rebuke and receiving rebuke. You know, you know, if, if you uh, have a conversation with somebody and someone, you know, tells you, you know, oh, you know, um, that's not the breakdown. Or, yeah, you're going off on. I mean, you should have that readiness in mind to really. Uh, OK, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. God, bro. You know, you shouldn't be at a point where you just not uh, you're not, you know, having that reason like, nah. I'm straight, <laughs> you know, unrebukable, like, right? That's unreasonable, man. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like what, uh, what Timothy 1 and 7. God, yep. Because I was um, telling the brother, um, you know, the brother Kabar, you know, um, that you know, this that's why I always like inclined to this brother because 
he's always like open to rebuke. You know what I'm saying? He's always open to hear a matter out. And you know, that's that's what makes you loving. That's what makes you a beloved brother. You know what I'm saying? Someone who, you know, is always open to, you know what I'm saying, hearing something out. You know what I'm saying? Never like, you know, on a high horse, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and that's how we that's how we have to be as brothers. You know what I'm saying? We have to like be we be willing to like, yeah, I might be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, you know, let me hear you out. You know what I'm saying? Like you got you gotta do that, man. That's like that's necessary as a man of the Lord, man. You know? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, man. Yep. It goes across the board, you know, both ways, man. You know? I got one. Come on, brother. Second Timothy one and seven, this is for you how about Shim How Shai have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Mm. Got it? Kind of, yeah. So Yahweh Mount Shai is not giving us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, man. You know what I'm saying? So we've been given uh, you know, uh the the the, the gift of power and love and, and soundness of mind. You know what I'm saying? So we've been given the ability to you know, logic and reason within ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? We haven't been uh, smited with madness. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're supposed to uh, take advantage of these gifts that Yahweh Shema Shah has bestowed upon us, man. Not bury them in the dirt. That's an example of burying them in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you just abuse that love, you abuse that sound mind, you abuse, um, or you abuse that power that he's given you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, these things, uh, um, it's, 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 uh, you're, you're not... You're not uh, appreciate. You're not being appreciative. You're not being thankful, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When when you do those type of things, you know what I'm saying. So you gotta appreciate that Yahweh Shimashah has bestowed us with these gifts and make make the best use of them. You know what I'm saying? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. That's right. Really being reasonable, man. Yeah. You know, we understand like there's gonna be scoffers because there's gonna be bug outs. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be coming. There's gonna be false prophets. People coming up. You know, against the cross. You know what I'm saying? But there's also going to be true, sincere sheep, you know, mm. like asking sincere questions, too. Mm, yeah. You can't be, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, having a particular uh, presupposition on a particular person if they, you know, ask you something like, you know what, you're a demon, God. you know. Get like, out of here. Get the fuck out of here, you bug out. Kick rocks. <laughs> Blocked. Yeah. Like, damn. Like, <laughs> that's, not, that's not cool, man. Yeah, that, that's not that's not reasonable. Yeah. Especially if, if, if you... Mm. Uh, if you're uh, quick to rebuke somebody, you should be just as mm, quick yep. to receive rebuke. Yeah, definitely. 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 You know what I'm saying? Um, I, got, I got a quick one, too. I got, I got two of them. It's uh, 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 2 Thessalonians 3 out. And um, I'm read, I'm the point in two, but I'll just read one. Um, this 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, uh, starting from the top, it says, Finally, brethren, Pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. You know? So unre being unreasonable, uh, you're you're aligned with wicked men. <laughs> That's why uh, you know uh, Apostle Paul prayed that the the word could have a uh, free course at, at, in, with the uh, church of Thessal Thessalonica. You know, Thessalonica, you know what I'm saying? Because um, he wanted them to be delivered from unreasonable men and wicked men. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's you, you don't want to be an unreasonable man. You know what I'm saying? That's, you're like in a, you're in a grouping with someone who's wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, also, it says, for all men have not faith. Because if you're being unreasonable, you're not having the faith that, you know, you can come to a conclusion or, mm. you know, something could, you know, uh, Yahabashi Masha could be trying to, send you a message you know mm. what i'm saying like you you're not being faithful you know what i'm saying to the full landscape of your habashi Shah's power man mm. you know so that's 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 a key uh reason why you gotta like make sure you're being reasonable man because being unreasonable is we, we want to be delivered from unreasonable men you know what i'm saying we don't want to be unreasonable that's not how we're supposed to be we're supposed to be reasonable man we're supposed to be able to talk with each other you know what i'm saying without spazzing out getting angry you know what i'm saying <laughs> like mm -hmm. like you know just quick to you know quick to judge you you know what i'm saying close you out shut you down you know what i'm saying like we're supposed to be able to like you know com communicate you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. you know be able to just have a you know ask each other a question answer properly you know what i'm saying like the brother was saying yeah we know it's a lot of it's a lot of so to speak bug outs 
you know, demons, you know, all these different, you know what I'm saying, uh, people in this, you know, that's, um, you know, connected to this, to this, to this faith. But within that, you know what I'm saying? We can't let that cloud our judgment and our discretion and our, and our reasonableness. You know what I'm saying? We have to, uh, just always take, uh, take things, uh, in perspective, man, you know, and hope the best have faith that, you know, look, this is somebody who is truly sincere or this is someone who could ch change or maybe they're coming from a good position or maybe you have a shot trying to show me something. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. That was it. Um, yeah, I had one more in uh, Titus 3 and uh, 9. Con, I can read it. Con. Titus 3 and 9, it says, But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Yeah, con. Uh, yeah, so it is certain things that are unprofitable and vain. You're supposed to avoid them, man. You know what I'm saying? You're just supposed to avoid those type of things. You know what I'm saying? But it's even a way that you avoid things, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody offer you something you don't want it, you just say no thank you. You ain't gonna be like, get that shit out of my face. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, no thank you. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm not interested. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, something like, you know, it's it's a way to go about things. You don't have to, nah, man. Do it look like I want that shit? <laughs> F fuck F you and whatever you got. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a way to do things. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody's striving about the law, like we don't want to really too much be involved with that. Of course, we... You know, um, if, if if it's someone saying that you're breaking the law and you might be off, you you got to take that into perspective, too. Like, oh, shit, I don't want to be breaking the law. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't going to, like, fight, contend with somebody about, oh, this is right and this is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, since, like from a sincerely good place, like, re reasoning, considering with yourself, unless you also be tempted, like the scriptures say. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, uh, mm. um, what, what will you read the precept one more time? About, Bible Kishore? It says... Titus 3 and 9, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Right, yeah, so in contentions, we ain't going to be, like, contending with each other. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they got the PSs. Boy, boy I got two of them. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we ain't going to be uh c c contending with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to be, uh, you know, sincerely trying to build each other up. Let all things be done for edification. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to be entertaining foolish questions. You know what I'm saying? The genealogies, which which minister questions. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna re we're gonna reason with ourselves. Is this is this a good is this is this gonna bring forth edification? Is this gonna bring forth any good? You know what I'm saying? Like what what are we really doing here? You gotta like have that reasoning. You gotta mm. you know that consideration. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Mm. Yeah, reminds me of uh, actually yeah, just to give verse ten. <laughs> It's a spirit. Mm. Just thinking about it. God, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> lead right into spirit. it. Yeah. Verse 10. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition, reject. Mm. You know? So, you know, we're at camp. You know, someone comes up, you know. I mean, of course, we want to have that hope. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? They might be someone who could possibly wake up into this thing, you know? So we'll entertain them and we'll let them know, okay, yeah, this is incorrect. You have to repent. And if they not receiving it, if they just rather, you know, be a bug out, you know what I'm saying? Go into the lifestyle of being Kemet, you know, <laughs> or whatever, man. You know, even if they, they understand that they are Israelite, if they follow particular things, man, you know, about the mark or some, you know, something that's really, you know, and if they can't receive it after the first and second after mission, it says here, you reject, man, mm. you know? And of course, like we're bringing out, it's, you want to definitely have, be reasonable within that, mm. you know what I'm saying? And you want to still have that hope, man. Yeah. Well, willing you repent, man. Yeah, this is not for you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to continue teaching what we're teaching. You know what I'm saying? You can stay here, but you might as well just leave if you're not going to get it. Right. You know God, what I'm saying? Bro. God, bro. You don't got to be like, all right, death to you and your family. <laughs> <laughs> the most High is going to kill you and everybody you're associated with. Like, damn. I mean, come on, man. You know? Ultimately... Shit, verse 11 says, yeah, knowing, mm -hmm. knowing that he is such is subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. So we don't got to do nothing, man. <laughs> Good. We don't got to condemn him. We don't got to throw curses. We don't got to do none of that. Okay, he already condemned. He's already condemned, man. Yeah. Con, you know? Like, if we're the kings and righteous judges of the earth, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk to, uh, let's reason with people as, as, 
like how as they say such. as such, right? Mm-hmm. Bosses like bosses talk mm-hmm. like boss, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Two bosses of, talking, even if yeah. even if they're they're not a, a a boss, you gotta you know what I'm saying? Have that honor with them, mm-hmm. like all right, deal with them as such, man. Nation of kings and priests. That's right, you know. And if he's a heretic, if he's not even being reasonable with you, okay, you gotta uphold your integrity. Exactly, yeah. No, that's right. I was taking that in uh, Hebrews 13 and 1. Yeah, mm, that's a good one. This is Hebrews 13 and verse 1. It says, let brotherly love continue. Verse 2. It says, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, I tell you that we was angels um, that fell from our first estate in Jew, uh in the book of Jude, was that Jude the sixth verse, yep. I believe? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it tell you that uh, we we fell from our first estate. We were once angels, man. You know, um, tell you how we was once famous, once giants. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So our people, you know, consider how they are of less stature than before. You know, status. You know what I'm saying? Our people fell from that great estate, man. We have to take that into consideration, man. We're entertaining angels, man. You know what I'm saying? So don't be forgetful to entertain them, man. They were entertaining. And entertain goes into hospitality. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Which hospitality goes into uh, you know, being compassionate and servicing. You know what I'm saying? So mm. we gotta uh we, we gotta do that for each other, man. You know what I'm saying? And don't be forgetful to uh, entertain strangers with it, because you don't know, you know, who whom someone could could be, you mm. know. Kind of just to add too, because like um like you're saying, you know, being being a being a service, being a servant, you know, a minister. Mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai, he he washed the feet of the disciples, mm-hmm. you know, including Judas, man. Mm. You know, knowing who Judas was, he still washed his feet, you know. So even if you would deem someone as being through a so-called two third or whatever, hey man, you know, follow Yahweh Shai, man. Mm. You know, be be humble and deal with him, you know, as if he as if you didn't think that, man. Mm, that's you beautiful. know, that's a beautiful point. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai. He knew that uh, Judas Iscariot was going to sell him out. He knew Judas Iscariot was the son of perdition. You know what I'm saying? But he still, um, you know, he still treated him. He, he still entertained it. Uh, he still entertained strangers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he uh, was aware. <laughs> kind, kind, right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, again, doing it, you know, decently in order. Like, you know, if we have a bug out of a can, we're not going to just entertain them in a sense where you're just going to, keep discoursing like you know yeah. i think of, i think of the time where you know like you're discoursing with someone i'm probably looking at it like yo why are we wasting our time <laughs> you know what i'm saying God, but ultimately he, he you know what i'm saying he, he could you know what i'm saying be someone God, like bro. you know what i'm saying great in the spirit mm. you know what i'm saying God, so you want to be long suffering as much as possible you God. know if it's not edifying then it's like all right <laughs> yeah get to a certain point <laughs> yeah of course. enough's enough yeah right you know what i'm saying but they go back to that uh, understanding time, understanding seasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, the spirit now shifted. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it's obvious. It's <laughs> not you. We kind of got to get it. Like, we got to wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's knowing the the, the season, man. Mm-hmm. Kind of, brother. You want me to go to the next one? Um, kind of. Let's see. Um, time. Yeah, right. Um, You could just jump to the last one. I mean... You could, like, get other ones, too, but... I'll okay, you want to jump to that one? Um, yeah. Next. Okay, kind Um This, uh, Sirach, chapter 37, and, um... Let's see like this, brother. 37 and verse 16. It's Sirach, chapter 37, verse 16. It says, Let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's very important, man. You know, being a prince of the power, man. You know, being gods and rulers of this earth. You know, the true elect are gonna be in a, a certain certain spirit, and they're gonna move a certain way, man. It says, let reason go before every enterprise, man. Really having that logic, understanding all angles. Mm-hmm. You know, seeing okay, what's the benefits if I do this? Well, you know, what's the pros and cons? Mm. You know, weighing weighing it out, man. Mm. That's why a council, you know, it's very important counseling with. You know, brothers around you, anybody that you could counsel with, who who's wise, who's has the discernment, that's filtering, all right, their counsel through the scriptures, you know. So that way, all right, you know, ultimately you, you could uh, move, you know, and really uh, 
do it without repenting, you mm -hmm. know, if you could receive it. Kanye, yeah, I believe, uh, is it up in that chapter when it tell you about knowing who you counsel with? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it like, <laughs> first, it. is it teen? Uh, is really it? the whole point right here, but okay, I kinda. think, um, what is this particular yeah, verse you're Yeah, it's just, a, it's just the point where it say, uh, um, just, um, I think it's this one. Eight, whoever counselor. Yeah, that's good. You can just read that one. You this can is read a, kind of. Con verse 8. It says, Beware of a counselor and know before what need he hath, for he will counsel for himself, lest he cast a lot upon thee. Right. Yeah. So, like the brother was saying, you got to counsel with uh, someone, uh, a, a, a true servant of Yahweh Shah, my shot, true brothers, you know, who are going to give you the proper uh, the proper reasoning. You know what I'm saying? They're going to give you um, the proper direction, man. You know what I'm saying? Take that counsel to, so, you, so you make sure you don't make the wrong decision. You know what I'm saying? And um, you can't neglect to hear brothers' uh, perspective either. You can't be like, man, nah, I, I ain't hearing that. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, nah, what you talking about? That ain't that ain't uh, within my reasoning. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, do you believe that brothers are men of the Lord? Do you believe these are counselors set up by that wonderful counselor? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Which is our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach. You know? Not, not, you do you got faith. You know what I'm saying? think these men around you are just men just anybody's you know mm. what i'm saying these supposed to be great men you know what i'm saying you supposed to take their words and like you know take heed to what they saying man you know mm -hmm. you can't you can't pick and choose when you want want them to, when, when 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 you think they man the lord you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. if you truly believe they man the lord then believe their words when they say it man you know just don't you know abuse you know what i'm saying look at them they, they words ain't nothing man you know what I'm saying? That's not cool, man. Right. Um, I got a quick one. First yeah. Corinthians six and two. This uh first Corinthians chapter six and verse two. It says, Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world should be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Being real judges of this of this world, man, you know? be able to judge you know the, the the great the great matters all right i mean if we're going to be judging angels man all right like this uh you, you read that verse mm -hmm. yeah um oh so like you let me read it um verse three it says know ye not that we shall judge angels how much more things that pertain to this life mm -hmm. god not so it says back in verse two it says are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters so you're going to be able to to uh, judge man to reason you know to truly know have that logic all right, all right, all right, this one, yeah, I'm going to have to just sit, sit out this one. You know, choose, pick your battles. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not everything is uh, is expedient, all right, or mm. necessary, you know, like like we was bringing out, man. You know, you might want to hold, hold, you know what I'm saying, hold your peace, mm. you know, until the, the season comes. Kind of, brother. Kind of. You want, you want me to go to that Surah 37 or that was, you want me to read it one more time or that's it? Um, yeah, we could, uh. Yeah, that was it. That's fine. Um, so good, uh, I was taking it. Um, I found when I was taking about Sirach 32. Okay. In 19. Sirach 32 and 19? Yeah. I'm like, you can start high if you want. God. I know we read, we read 8. We read 7 through. You did. Nine, kind of. 7 through 9. So you said, yeah, I can probably start up about 17. Mm -hmm. This uh, Sirach 32 and 17, it says, a sinful man will not be reproved. But find an excuse according to his his will. Mm -hmm. that, that's someone that's unreasonable, man. You know, <laughs> when someone hears, all right, cancel, all right, and then they're, they're not gonna uh, follow it, all right, for whatever reason it is, they're gonna find an excuse. Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately, you know what I'm saying? They're they're not they're not uh, wise. All right, mm -hmm. they're really a fool, man. Right. Mm -hmm. It says a man of counsel will be considerate, mm. but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Even one of himself he have done without counsel. You got it. Huh. Yeah, so, um, and we know it's going to be the end of the proud and strange man. <laughs> you know what their end is. It ain't nothing good. You know what I'm saying? So it says a strange man, a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, which you have to be, which we, we read about how Yahweh Shema is not giving us the spirit of fear. You know what I'm saying? But you got to have the fear of the Lord. You know, and that's right. the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. If you got true fear of the Lord, you ain't just gonna be reacting or acting any type of way out here. 
you know? Mm -hmm. It says, verse 19, do nothing without advice. And when thou hast once done, repent not. Mm hmm. Con. You know, so once you, you receive counsel, you know, because it says do nothing without advice. So once you get that advice, you know, then it's like, hey, man, you're going to go ahead and do what you do. And you, there, there's no looking back now. You know, you've done what you've done. You made your decision. You know, let your yay be yay. Mm. You know? Yep. And, and that's, that's, that's true reason. There's no gray areas. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to, to the council, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, you know, it's the difference between, you know, counsel and something that's like an order or command. Right. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about really taking heed, man, being wise and discerning. OK, yeah, that's wise counsel. It makes sense, mm -hmm. you know, and then you're going to move accordingly. Yeah, oh, brother. Yep. Yep. What else you got? Um, you could get to chapter 27. Uh, oh, yeah, that's one of Karai's favorites. This fire precept. Um. This this is really like a key one. This Sirach chapter twenty seven to verse five. It says the furnace proof of the potter's vessels, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. Mm hmm. Go one more time. Ah, this Sirach chapter twenty seven verse five. The furnace proof of the potter's vessels, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. Mm. That's right. You know the trial of a man. You know, because it says the furnace proof of the potter's vessel. That's that fire. You know, that, that furnace, you know, this is the tribe of man is reasoning, you know, so really e examining, really, truly testing, you know, our particular uh, ideas, understanding like, OK, yeah, you know, that's how that's how things are formed. That's how things are created, you know, through real trials, mm. you know, real, real tests, mm. you know, you got it. I was thinking of the seven earlier, too. Uh, let me let, mm -hmm. let me read six and seven. Uh, this uh verse six it says the the fruit declare if the tree have been dressed, so is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of a of man. So, um your utterance lets uh others know if you're uh if you're prideful, conceited. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you're cocky, if you're arrogant, man, that what you're uttering. You know what I'm saying? That uh shows forth what you are. Your utterance. You know what I'm saying? Is mm -hmm. what go up out of a man that defile of him. You know. Uh, verse 7 it says, Praise no man before thou hearest him speak, for this is the trial of man. You know? So this is the trial of man. You know? Mm -hmm. Their speech. You know? Mm. That's fine. Uh... You know what I'm saying? So he say, Praise no man before you hear him speak. That's your trial right there. You know? How many more we got? Right? Really want to get them two in wisdom. Wisdom uh, 11 and 15 and 12 and 25. And that's yeah. review it. That's it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's, that, that's all it's up? Mm hmm. There was okay. another one, but we don't, we don't have to do that. Okay, kind You said uh, 11 and 15. It's Wisdom Solomon, chapter 11, verse 15. It says, But for the foolish devices of their wickedness, wherewith being deceived, they worship serpents void of reason and vile beasts. Thou didst send a multitude of unreasonable beasts upon them for vengeance. Ooh, mm. that's fire. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Come on, man. You know, this is, and it starts with it says the foolish devices of the wickedness, man. Mm. You know, being deceived. This is worship service of void of reason. So there's no reason. Mm -hmm. All right. It's like you know, just a, just a beast. Like I think I might have told you uh, about the cat. You know, um, I left some uh, garbage out. You know what I'm saying? And the cat ended up just you know tearing up the bag. You know, I'm just I was mad at the cat. Like damn, you know. At the end of the day, it's a beast, man. It doesn't have any reason. Like, yeah. you know what? I don't think he's going to be happy about that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He didn't reason and consider things. Yeah, you know what bro. I'm saying? But, no, nah, you, you got it. I know yeah, there's not, more to it. Yeah, kind of. Um, and, um, yeah, that's what the brother was saying. Like, because the scriptures tell you about a man, every man is brutish, brutish by his knowledge. You know, so, and brutish goes into being like a beast. So, if you're a brute. You know, you're you're not operating with reasons, like reasoning, like animals, beasts. They don't they don't operate with reasoning. They don't have reason. You know what I'm saying? So that's what separates man from beast is reasoning. So if you're if you're operating without reasoning, you're you're a beast, man. You know what I'm saying? You're a beast. And uh, it uh, select you. Phone be bugging. Go back. Okay. It said uh, select you, and it says um. 
for them not having reason, Yahabashima Shah sent unreasonable beasts upon them. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you don't want to be, you want to be an unreasonable beast? Well, I'm going to send an unreasonable beast on your ass, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, you said, keep reading up. No, that was it on that. Okay, um, you said yeah. next, verse, uh, next chapter? Yeah, verse 25. 25, God. Okay. This uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 25. Therefore, unto them, as to children without the use of reason, thou didst send a judgment to mock them. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Oh, <man. laughs> yeah, that's cold. As children without use of reason, mm. you know? So that, that's a childish thing, man. You know, to not, you know, be, really being irresponsible, man. Mm. You know? Because ultimately, you know, man's going to the Lord. But if you don't have any reason, then... I mean, that's a scary thing. Most high might not be dealing with you, man. Mm. If you ain't got that reason, man. God, bro. You might, you might be led in, in, to some type of pit, man. To, to some type of stumbling block, man. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, a swift destruction, like, you know, mm -hmm. the false prophets uh -huh. got coming to them. Be brute beast? You, you know what I'm saying? Made to be taken and yeah, destroyed. Kind of, yep. Yeah, man. Yep. So, yeah, we want to make sure that we, we, we got that trait of, of reason, man. Really pondering things. You know, really understanding all angles. You know, and making moves accordingly, you know? That's what judges are made of, man. You know, that's what we want to be. We want to be the, you know, the, the rulers of the earth. You know what I'm saying? We want to be, you know, we want to be the ultimate counselors under our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashah. Well, we have to, uh, we have to embody that. You know, we have to exemplify that, you know? Mm-hmm. Kind of. Yeah, that was really it. Yeah. I said, uh, you said you had one more or you, you said you didn't want to get it? Yeah, I was just gonna get down one to Matthew twenty one, where you know, oh yeah, it was like reasoning uh, with themselves. Yeah, yeah, kind of, oh, that's kind of nice, but yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah, kind that's of, a good yeah, example. Cool. Yeah, know? but uh, yeah, that was really it, man. Kind of, brother. All right, so yeah, you got it, brother. Slug. Hey, kind of, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakadash, the honesty apostles and those who rule well. Peace and salutations to all the sincere Akiyum, enduring afflictions, making their calling and election sure. Shalom.